Hey, what's up, YouTube? AMC here. I'm going to do a break, uh, kind of a weird break. I have a bunch of randomness that I picked up at my local card shop. So I got a card, um, cards in a can. I got a pack of archives, a deck of playing cards, and then three packs of 2016 Topps Heritage Baseball. So let's uh, start with these archives on top. They are from 91. 1991, the Ultimate 1953 set. So this pack was like a dollar or something. I was like, huh. Let's just see what it looks like. So I don't even know what's in here, honestly. Alright. Um, looks like some cards are backwards. Um, hmm. They're slightly stuck together, but not too bad overall. Alright. I'll just kind of go through them. Hey, let her out. Alright. Sorry, I gotta let my dog out. Huh, Dick Williams, Willard Schmidt. So not, I don't think there were, there weren't many people that I had heard of in here. Um, uh, Boudreaux, yeah, not the only one that I recognize. But, cool looking cards, nonetheless. I didn't know what to expect, so, <laughs> you know, not, not bad. They had like, he had like a whole box of these right here. 1990 Baseball Major League All-Stars Playing Cards. Premier Edition. And what was cool is these are printed in Cincinnati, Ohio. Or, well, they were printed in 1990. So that's kind of cool. Since I'm, you know, from Cincinnati. Uh, so, these were only a dollar. And I, I kind of like collecting uh, playing cards. Um, so... Yeah, overall pretty cool for a buck. Alright, there we go. Did I break the uh, seal there? Alright, let's see what they look like. So this is a... Not your typical break, I know. We got McGuire and Seiko. Jack Armstrong, Joker. There's uh, Clemens. Alomar. Oh, wow, Randy Johnson. These are from 1990. There's Ripken. Kirby Puckett. There's Griffey. That's who I was looking for. <laughs> Fielder. That's Roberto Alomar. Ooh, Barry Larkin. Yeah, Griffey, Larkin, and Frank Thomas were probably my favorites. I also like Cal Ripken uh, growing up. Those were probably my favorite players. I also have loved uh, Chris Sabo. There's Tony Gwynn, Will Clark, Barry Bonds, Ricky Henderson. I loved uh, Chris Sabo and his, his uh, goggles. That's actually one of the cards that I want to pick up. Um, if I can find a good price on it, is a Chris Sabo Archives Auto. A fan favorites auto. Carol Strawberry. I actually had my first uh, glove as a kid. Um, had Daryl Strawberry's name on it. <laughs> uh, Benito Santiago, this guy played forever. Andre Dawson. Ozzy Smith. Oh, there's Chris Sabo, speak of the devil. Yeah, I love Chris Sabo. Sandberg. There's Mike Sosha. Julio Franco. Rob Dibble and Randy Myers. That's cool. All right, so those cards are pretty cool. I I like them. The uh, on the backs of them, they look like this. So pretty cool. Not bad for a dollar. Heck, I might buy another one and keep it sealed or something. He had like seven or eight of them left. So yeah, that was pretty cool. All right, let's uh, check out this can. 
So I don't know if you've ever seen this, but Pinnacle 98. This has Derek Jeter on the cover. Uh, the only baseball card in a can. Uh, Pinnacle Inside. There's 10 cards. Then on here, it has nutrition facts. Collectability, top players, inside info, and cool inserts are all 100%. Uh, Stand-up guys, 1 in 1. Uh, Club edition is 1 in 7. Behind the numbers, 1 in 23. Inside gold can, 1 in 47. And diamond edition is 1 in 67. So, pretty cool. This was uh, $2.99. But you do actually have to have a can opener to open these. So, here we go. I've opened some of these before. Um, I found like six or seven of them at my local card shop and picked them up uh, probably about a year ago. They're just pretty cool. So then inside, the lid fell in there, but you see there's a pack of cards. Which was really great is this keeps them airtight, so they're actually, you know, in pretty good shape. There we go. All right, here we go. All right. See what we got. Stand up guys checklist. It's like uh, Larry Walker. There's Andy Pettit. Kenny Lofton. And it does say signed by Indians uh, on uh, 1997. Chanho Park. Guarding the Lines, Guarding the Lines, Mark McGuire, uh, Ken Griffey Jr., Common Checklist, number one, uh, one through 99, uh, here's the, uh, stand-up guys thing, I think you're supposed to, like, put them, uh, there's a little slit in the middle, you see, and I think you, uh, slide them down on each other, and then it stands up like a little, uh, like cross, and it sits up like that, kind of like that, I, that's what I think, anyway, so there's a couple guys on here, Jose Cruz Jr. is listed, and Vladimir Guerrero is listed, looks like Andrew Jones, um, Chuck Knobloch, Knobloch, I never could pronounce his name, uh, Derek Jeter hit and run, that's kind of cool looking, Derek Jeter hit and run, that's a cool card. Here's the back. See the back of it. It's a cool card. Uh, Todd Helton. A rookie, Todd Helton. Here's the back on that card. And then um, show off those cards. So I want you to send away for something, I think. So yeah, anyways, that's uh, a pack of cards on a can. So, not bad. Cool cool to get a Todd Helton rookie. All right, now these are 2016 um, Heritage Baseball Packs. These are hobby packs, so I do have a, uh, you know, better odds to get something. I still think it's hard to pull an auto. Uh, real one autographs are 1 in 491. 1 in 491. So, there, there are the odds if you'd like to see them. One in four ninety one for a real one autograph. I, I usually never get into heritage, but the heritage prices were pretty good, so I figured I'd pick a couple packs up. We have a tiger's card. Uh, is it one? Okay. Uh, Vizcaino, the Braves. We have uh, Diamondbacks 2016 rookie stars Peter O'Brien and Brian or Brandon Drury, uh, Edwin Encarnacion, Greg Holland, Caleb Joseph, Eddie Rosario, Denard Span, and Anthony Ghost. Uh, 
Uh, Atlanta Aces, Freddie Freeman and Nick Marcakis. Uh, Evan Gaddis. Uh, Hosmer's Sack Fly wins game. World Series game one. Kansas City five, New York four. Uh, Marco Estrada. Jason Kipnis. Clint Hurdle, manager card. Ian Desmond. Colby Lewis. And Vidal Nuno. Yeah, Ian Desmond kind of revitalized his career a bit. By uh, moving to center field and playing for the Rangers. I wonder if they'll re-sign him. Uh, Chris Davis. Uh, NL 2015 <clears throat> RBI leaders. Nolan Arenado, Paul Goldschmidt, and Anthony Rizzo. I like these kind of cards. These these are cool. I like to see those. Uh, Darren Ruff for Phillies. Wei Yin Chen. Michael Brantley. Todd Frazier. The Todd Father. Marcel Ozuna. Jonathan Scope. And Irvin Santana. So I'm not sure if... Uh, uh, this is why I don't really collect heritage, because I usually have no clue what's a short print and what's not. Um, I know you can look at like the codes on the back, uh, so I'll look at that real quick. I think that, um, I don't know if it's like a Gypsy Queen where everything above 300 is a short print. Um, Alan and Ginter's like that too. Uh yeah, I'll probably just have to look these up. Yeah, all the codes look the same. So I'm not sure. I'll, I'll have to go through and look at them. But anyways, uh, let me know what you guys thought. Uh, what did you guys think of the uh, the uh, pack of cards on a can? Or what did you guys think of these uh, trading cards? Or, or playing cards, excuse me. You guys think these are cool? Let me know. Until next time, AMC out.